This morning I went to Target with Mrs. Brickitect and while we were shopping there, I decided that I was gonna go check out the Lego clearance or at least what I hoped would be Lego clearance. Being that we're in late January here, I was thinking that they'd have all kinds of stuff at 50% off and I'd fill the cart up. Unfortunately, this isn't that video. I really wish it was because, you know, I live for that kind of stuff. That and yard sale Lego, which is coming up, and I think I'll have better luck at that than Lego clearance at Target. But when I was in the aisle, I noticed the end cap. They did have something I was interested in, and it was these. This is the Series 24 CMFs, and I've been collecting CMFs since about 2018. Prior to that, I was too cheap to even consider it. I was like, you know what? I can get a poly bag for the price of one of these, and this is back when they were cheaper than they are now, but something happened in 2018 where I started collecting each series, and I've continued doing that, and I've got most of them. But what I've realized is that most of them, or all of them, actually just end up in drawers like this back here after I open them up, admire them, make a video on them, and they just sit there. So I decided this year, I'm only gonna get the ones that I really like. And when I walked over to that, I had that expectation. I picked one of these up and I felt it, and what I felt in my hands was a space helmet. And I was like, oh my gosh, it is my favorite one that I wanted to get from the Series 2. He's not even pictured here. I won't spoil who it is because I'm hoping to actually open it up and show it to you here in just a second. Uh, so I was like, all right, that's awesome. Mrs. Brickitech comes over at, the, at that time and I'm like, you know what we need to get is the carrot one. Clark Mann's favorite is the carrot. So we started feeling all of these bags and it's so embarrassing. Like there were two Target employees there and they're looking at me. I'm like, you know, I'm doing this. And then like this older couple came in the aisle and I heard them say something like, oh, he's trying to get you know, figure out what's in the bag. And I'm just like, oh, this is so embarrassing. But I felt every one of them. Unfortunately, they didn't have the carrot one and they didn't have a few other ones that I really want to get, which I'll show you later in this video. But they did have a few that I wanted. So I thought today, since I don't have any epic Lego clearance to show you, I'd open these three up and show you my, I, maybe my top three of these, at least uh, the top three of my top six of the Series 24 Lego collectible minifigure series. I'm realizing now that was a rather long introduction. You guys are probably like, Greg, just open the packs, which is what I'm gonna do right now. We're gonna do these in just a random order. And at one point in this, I'm thinking we're gonna get my favorite one. This isn't it, but it's one that I really like. This is titled Robot Warrior. And I'll show you, I guess if you haven't seen them yet, I'll show you all the ones that you can get from this collection. Most of you guys that are into the scene probably have seen all of these. You've probably seen people get an entire boxes of them and open every single one of them up. Not this time for me. This is the one that we got, the Robot Warrior right here, and this is the entire collection. I'll wait until the end, I'll show you my, my top six, because I think out of the 12, there's six that I'd like to get. But I'll build this one up and I'll show you what the Robot Warrior looks like. Probably my favorite thing about this figure is the gun. They put little roller skates on there and they actually gave me an extra one, pink roller skate. So the gun is awesome, but what I didn't realize was so cool about this figure was the head. Look at that and then look at the back. That's pretty awesome. But you can take this helmet and it kind of hides it. I think it just looks so awesome. And Clark and I were kind of talking about how you could almost make this into a Master Chief if you're feeling motivated. Might be a little aggressive filing things off of here, but that's what kind of what he reminds me of. If you change the green up a little bit and change the color scheme, you have yourself a Master Chief. If only another company that we won't speak of here got the license. Similar story with a lot of awesome things that Lego didn't nab, but there is the Robot Warrior, my first of three CMFs. We'll just set that aside and we'll go into pack two. I, I, just, it, I wanted to feel it. I'm like, oh, what it, could it be? It's, just, I guess, like a habit when you get a bag like this. It makes me sad to hear that they may not be doing these anymore. I don't even know if it's, they may not. I, don't think they're gonna be a thing anymore. They're gonna come in boxes, which is probably gonna turn me off of these entirely because you do kind of want to know what you get, especially if you get a bunch of repeats because it's an expensive mistake to make and this was not a mistake. We ended up getting, I think what he's called is the conservationist. And the reason I wanted this guy was that cute little koala right there. And there he is, $5 well spent. Now I'm feeling kind of bad that I didn't give this guy the proper recognition that he deserves. I like his, his happy face there. There's his other face. I like this one. He looks like he's having such a great time. That's how I would look if I was holding a baby koala or even a full grown koala. I think he just sits on his hand. Or how does he have him? Oh, he's holding, okay. He, you can, that has the butthole koala here. You can put him on his hand like that. The way that they have it is he's holding this little bamboo shoot or whatever koalas eat there and then he's holding it up above it. So that's kind of how they look and I, I think that's just so adorable. I'm trying to get you some light on the guy's face. It's not easy to do. This whole, 
I'm getting Sony'd right now. There we go. That's about the best that I can do for you guys. But again, his face back there, just, just hilarious. I love that. So he is up on my top six and we will set him back here. And that leaves one left. My favorite one of all. Some of you probably already know what this one is, especially if you're an old school type dude like me. But the one that I wanted the most, watch it not be it, was the brown spaceman astronaut guy with the little baby Benny spaceman. I don't know if it's actually Benny, but he's got the little baby spaceman. With him. I just love that so much. The brown, Mrs. Brickatech wasn't loving this. I showed her a picture. I'm like, this is... This is the one, this is the one I want. She's like, ooh, why is it brown? I'm like, they've never made that color before. And she's like, I can tell why. And I was like, wow, you just took all the wind out of my sails. He's got the classic face. This is like the forgotten face of Lego. Just a happy face that takes me back to my childhood. There he is in all of his brown glory. He's like the, the poop astronaut. I also felt this in there too. So I was feeling pretty good about it. I was like, I think that we've got the astronaut in our hands. Cause I felt that, that helmet. It was just so wild that that was the first one because I think if it wasn't, I might not have bothered, but I was like, oh, I got the one that I wanted. Let's see what else they have, particularly the carrot guy. And unfortunately, he does sit on his hand. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't have the carrot one. So it's still, we're still looking, but there is the brown spaceman. You've probably seen these spacemen of all types before. In fact, I think the Lego movie too, you can get like, what is it? Like Kenny, Lenny, Spenny, whatever their names are. You can get a whole slew of them. Uh, if you want to get those in your collection. I don't know how easy that set is to find these days. I bought a few of them, I feel like, or I had a couple of them. Uh, but there's my my three. I'm not going to say my top three because, like, this is by far, like, if we're making a tier list, this guy right here is way up on, on my list. This I got for the Koala. I just think this one looks cool, but I'll show you the other ones that I'm still hoping and, and planning to get. My number two definitely is this one. Okay, this the tier list, very high there with the Black Falcon Lady. I don't know her official name, but these two I really want. Clark, of course, wants that. So we want these three from the top. I want that one. Clark wants that one. <laughs> and I got that one. And I was thinking about maybe putting this one on the list, but I, I'm okay with it just being two, four, six. Those are the ones. What I'm passing on is the referee. I can live without that. Although soccer ball is kind of cool. This guy I could live without, but if I got him by mistake, and I did, like I felt him there, which is like the weirdest sentence to say in a YouTube video. Um, I felt him there. Uh, I felt that. And I, there was definitely a, a, like a, a bag in there for his cape. And I was like, please let it be this one. But there was none of those in sight. I felt a couple of these. I felt one of these. And I got, I felt her there too. Again, it's going to get demonetized. I don't think he was there. So everybody seems to be snagging this one and this one, in my opinion. Uh, and I, I think there were a few of these, but this was the only one of, of the Spaceman. So I was lucky to get that. And I'm going to keep working at this because I don't want to buy a complete set again. I just, there's, I'm not going to do anything with it. So I'm just going to get my favorites, especially, you know, I'm not going to hate, but some of these are just like, I, I don't need them. Someday I'll regret it though. But that guy is fire. So we got to work on that and that. Those are my, my next top two to get. And then Clark Man's Dinosaur and we are fully complete, but there is what I got from series 24. Are you collecting these? I'm curious. Is anybody else out there collecting these? And if so, who's your favorite? Are we on the same page here? Or am I missing out on like some awesome, like powdered face lady thing with a little chihuahua or maybe the girl riding the, the horse. I definitely felt that horse there. We could go back. Maybe I could do some trades with people, but got three of them and we'll continue working on this. So hopefully you see a part two where I have the other three. And I guess if that happens, it'll be the same exact video you're watching right now, but I'd like to make that happen. So thank you all for tuning into this kind of short video of what I got. I'm just excited to have these and I'm excited to share this with Clark Man because he's going to be pumped on this one, especially with the baby. So adorable.